Now at 11, more Americans are safely back home tonight after being rescued from the violence and unrest in Haiti. Nearly three dozen people have landed at Orlando International Airport in the last 24 hours. Western News reporter Greg Fox shows us how the state is providing help on many fronts for these grateful evacuees. The flight was just 90 minutes, but these exhausted people look like they were half a world away from the chaos they escaped. All nine are Americans who were visiting or temporarily living in Haiti and are now among 48 people, most of them Floridians, rescued during the past week by the state under an executive order from the governor. 21 landed late Saturday night. With gang violence overtaking Port-au-Prince, the evacuees living outside the capital wondered just how much time they had before they were trapped and their lives in jeopardy. This man, heading back to his South Florida home, says the gunfire was getting closer. Too many people shoot and there and then too many guns, bo, 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 you know, and my head, you know. Jamie, you glad to be back? Yes, I'm glad to be back. Another woman said she felt safe where she was, but did not know for how much longer. Cape Haiti, he was wonderful. He don't have trouble just like Puerto Ones. While 14 people were flown into Sanford's airport last week, this new temporary facility at OIA is likely to be the hub for processing those on emergency flights. This is actually a multi-agency resource center where people are getting help on a lot of different fronts. You've got different agencies from Florida, including Florida Department of Children and Families over here. You've got the Florida Department of Health over here. And then in case people in the rush to get out of Haiti need a new driver's license, they've got the Department of Motor Vehicles over here and free cell phones being provided by local companies. Our, our goal right now is to fly people out every day. Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie says he's hoping the state contractor can fly one or more flights per day. So I think you're going to see us bring our aircraft size down from the 30 passenger, 20 passenger plane, probably closer to the 10 or 12 passenger plane, uh, so that we're, we're sending full flights. We're, we're being cognizant of taxpayer dollars. But at the same time, um, it's going to be more complicated as we uh, move forward. Guthrie will be talking with the State Department this week to go over the list of 550 people requesting evacuation to Florida and which arm of the government will get them out of Haiti. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Another plane carrying four missionaries is expected sometime overnight.